Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about fishing colonnette this time of year. The San Diego fleet kind of focuses these winter months where there's no local rock fishing in California. They can go down to Mexico and do really good on the big ling cod, lots of rockfish, and yellowtail too. So a lot of San Diego, all the different landings are offering these day and a half and two and a half day trips down to Colonet, and it's really good fishing. So some of you have been telling me that you're gonna be booking trips and you wanted some information on the type of gear they should think about taking with you. And Colonet is a little bit different than fishing yellowtail anywhere else. Normally when you fish 15 to 25 pound yellowtail, you can fish lighter gear, fish around the kelp beds and suspended structure and you can get those fish up higher off the bottom. So you can get away with maybe fishing 30 pound test line, 25 pound test line. Colonet, forget about it. You're gonna be fishing 40 and 50 pound, sometimes even 60 pound test line, because these yellowtail, even though they're only in the 20 to 25 pound class, and sometimes you get fish over 30, these fish are mean. They hang out close to the structure, down deep, some spots over 200 feet. Most of the spots are over 100 feet deep. And because of that, you got to fish larger reels and stronger reels, bigger drags and uh, heavier lines. So something like this will work out really good. If you wanted to go down to a smaller reel, make sure you have at least 60 pounds, 65 pound spectra behind it, and then go ahead and put your 40 or 50 pound mono on top. You don't need to use fluorocarbon for this type of fishing because you're going to be down at least 100 feet fishing. Larger reel like this will help you if you get into those bigger fish or if you just get one of those mean yellows that's going to dive straight down into the rocks and into the coral. You're going to need the bigger drag to stop the fish and turn his head. Another reel that I'll be fishing this season, this is a Kuma reel. I like this, this style of reel. I haven't fished this one yet. I'm looking forward to it. It's a level wine with a power handle made by Akuma, and I've got 65 pound Spectra on it. And I have another one I'm taking with 50 pound Spectra, and then I'll put probably 40 pound mono on top of that. Again, no fluorocarbon, just straight mono. This one, I plan to fish a little bit differently. You know, target yellowtails, yes, but also for ling cod. I like to catch a lot of ling cods using my six ounce B52 bucktail with a swim bait or a single tail grub behind it. Don't put any squid or anything on it, just put a big grub on it. Let it go down the bottom, work it up along the bottom, close to the bottom, maybe crank it up four or five cranks and then let it fall. Catch a lot of lingcod up in Northern California and at the Channel Islands. Using an outfit like this, I've never had a reel this size, this big, where I could catch those bigger fish and I'm really looking forward to it. But the, all the drag this reel has to offer, it should be a lot of fun. Now, another way I like to fish down a colonnette is with a metal jig. Now, a lot of guys will use really heavy jigs and fish right along the bottom. If you stay down on the bottom, you're gonna catch the lings and you catch lots of rockfish. If you wanna focus on the yellowtail, get up off the bottom at least 10 cranks. Last season, we were fishing aboard the Chief. I used this particular jig, four and a half ounce magic metal jig, got all the way down about 200 feet came up about 50 feet and I stayed in that zone. I fished from there up to about 75 feet from the surface and just cranked that thing up as fast as I could, as fast as I could back and forth using a reel like this with 50 pound test mono and it worked out really good. I caught the biggest yellowtail on the trip. The guys were catching the smaller ones right up on the bottom. I fished that suspended zone and that's where the bigger fish were cruising. Ate this macro looking jig and I did really well. Again, I caught the biggest fish I'm not in jackpot, so I didn't get jackpot, but it was still fun to catch the biggest fish on the boat. Remember in Mexico, you can fish with three hooks. So if you want to concentrate on just filling your freezer with lots of rockfish, you can use three bucktails in dropper loops with a one pound sinker, 16 ounce sinker on the bottom. Fish it right up on the bottom. You're going to get your limit of rockfish. There's so many rockfish there. That's usually not a problem. So that's today's little video blog some information about fishing down in Colonet. If you're looking for a trip to go on, if you haven't signed up for a trip already and you wanna go on a trip this month, I have a trip leaving on the Chief, leaving on Friday, February 24th at 6 p.m. And you can go to my website, click on this little link right here, it'll take you to the trip. You get all the details showing you the price and information on that. It's a day and a half trip. We're gonna leave Friday at 
6 p.m. and we'll be back Monday, I'm sorry, we'll be back Sunday morning at 6 a.m. So fish all day Saturday from sunrise to sunset and we're back at the dock at 6 a.m. on uh, Sunday morning. And that's again fishing out of San Diego, out of H&M Landing, aboard the Chief, going down to Colonnette. Don't forget to like this video, and if you want to get more of these tips and information, subscribe right here on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all really soon.